Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the best streamers arena. Please welcome in the red corner, coming from the Czech Republic, your favorite streamer, Milan Matsura. In the blue corner, coming from the Netherlands, Tom Driver. Let the fight begin. Hi guys, welcome to a special challenge against Tom to introduce Tom Driver a little bit more. He comes from a bridge family and you might know the famous names Bus Driver and Bob Driver who are the top professional players and comes from this family. Tom claims that he's not as good as their brothers but he's focusing on teaching kids so being a coach they're similar what I'm doing so it's definitely fun to challenge Tom and see who will do better in the first challenge between us. So let's have a look on the board one. Board number one, 11 high card points balanced. So we just transfer after partners one, no Trump and go straight to game. And I will let partner choose between three no trumps and four spades. I'm actually more happy about four spades since I have two weak suits and solid spade suit. Even possible to play on a 5 2 fit, especially if partner has the king. Okay, so hearts are not an issue. Uh, we might have a club loser, but maybe not even that. And the diamond loser, we will see how it goes. Since East is leading the trump, he probably has both minor kings. Otherwise, he might not lead the trump and lead one of the suits. The switch to the nine of hearts seems like a doubleton, especially since East played the five and then he might play the four as well. So I better want to draw the trumps and up in north crossing with the heart and playing the queen of diamonds wow seven of diamonds that might be from four it's actually encouraging come on Well, it's low high, so they might split free free and I better want to test it now before I decide which card to discard and it actually works. So I play the queen of diamonds and since both of them are dropping them, I should lose only one diamond trick for 11 tricks. Anyway, I expect this board to be a push because nothing strange happened here, although they didn't lead a club. So at some point, if they lead a club, I probably make only 10 tricks. So let's see. Not much interesting on this board. Tom did exactly the same thing there. So four spades plus one and tie one sorry zero zero board number two board number two eight high card points balanced nothing particular yet partner is passing as well so it seems like we will be defending question is which contract at this moment west is bidding a two-way check back so wanted to like invite usually with five card spades East shoved four card hearts. So now let's see if West raises, but it's no trumps. Because if he does, he has a five card suit and East still can have three spades. Okay, let's refresh here. Okay, two spades showing a five card and exactly invitational hand. And East decides to pass probably 
only with a doubles and spades, especially since we have four. Club lead is kind of a standard. Nope. King of hearts. So what were two hearts? Not alerted. Exactly three cards in spades and a minimum hand. Okay, well, I would expect that two hearts would be alerted as well. So I thought that that's the standard check back, but it's not. Okay, I show my doubleton with nine and then playing the two because I will get an overruff. Whoa. Okay, I have to jump. I have a feeling I have to jump. And probably play the club there. But I think first I try the heart. To get the promotion, partner. Well, anything would be better than a diamond. Okay, at least partner should have a spade on her, but it's a queen. And declare guest is right. Now he has a club entry, and on a diamond he can dump a heart or the club. So this was not really a successful play. I really didn't need it, partner, to play the diamond. But how to push him to play the heart? I mean, I played, I played the nine and the two to try to show that I have a doubleton. Maybe I should have played my clubs. Or partner knows that if I have a doubleton that he scores the hard trick anyways. That was probably the point. Yeah, but still I think I might lose an imp here or something. Let's see. Yeah, pretty boring hand as well. So not much happened on this board either. Same bidding, same, same card play. So we have to wait if there will be a swing on the next board. Okay, 11 high card points, but really balanced. I have only one top card, the queen jack 10 in hearts and queen jack 9 in clubs. That definitely can help, but with this hand, if we have a game, I really need a extra, some extras from partner. Therefore, I have to go to no trumps on this board and hope that partner raises. Yeah, well, I was afraid about that. Usually partner raises only with 14. But with this 5 card suit, I usually want to play 3 no trumps. Let's play the 10 just in case East overtakes and if not, then I can just overtake uh, with the Jack or I can duck and play a diamond actually, play a low diamond because maybe West wins. I like that. I have to lose a diamond trick anyway, so I want to play like this. Sometimes East has to jump with the King third, King doubleton C. So this play very often can help because now he needs to play the spade through. And hopefully now my diamonds become winners. Four, five, six. Oh, great. Yeah, I have to play the finesse. Although I don't think it's on. So I have five, six, seven tricks. To have eight tricks, I probably need to win with the ace and play a heart. Because if I duck, he wins, play a spade, I win. And then I'm kind of stuck. If I duck, he wins, play a spade, and I don't have an entry to the south hand. So I probably want to win with the ace. Cash one diamond to see if they split. Okay, they do. 
and now play hard to be guaranteed that I get a plus score because I got the diamonds right hopefully the jack oh the king of hearts is with west why didn't play the spade so strange Still, I don't think that I could make any extra. Unfortunately, Jack-10 is on side, so if I play the diamond towards the 9, it will actually end up the same. Uh, right now, I can just claim 8 tricks. And therefore, because of the layout, yeah, they could have scored 2 spades, 1 diamond is 3, and 2 clubs is 5. Luckily, 3 no trumps should not be there if the defense is playing all right because i have only two spades two hearts and four diamond tricks not having tempo to establish the club so expecting another push so plus six sims and we go to board number four okay so board number four partner opens and three spades over call it's vulnerable but just in case partner is not having any spades and he's having two aces we might have six diamonds two aces and a little bit more because if east is having solid spades then the f possible finesses might be off so if i double and then four hearts it's fine. I still think that I like to play six diamonds. So how about invitation to a slam? Okay, that's not good. Qubit forcing, also not helpful. Yeah, I think I, I just I just go for it and bid six diamonds. I just hope that partner is having two key cards. I would love to bid four no trumps to ask for key cards and hearts and if partner bids two then um, I, th I feel I would feel quite safe to bid six diamonds just need ace ace and queen of hearts and a little bit of luck okay ace ace king queen and that's solid unfortunately it's queen ten fourth so this is guaranteed singleton yeah uh i've got eight diamonds so i i'm really feeling that i have to rough with the 10 and hope the jack is doubleton with east and if it is doubleton with east i can rough high because then there might be a doubleton with west I don't think that he preempted with six cards and West led the two of spades so that's a guaranteed singleton oh that's sad I mean four cards partner like singleton diamonds ah threats yeah I really I really probably have to do this And hope that the doubleton jack drops. No, he's got four behind. Well, that's a good sign because even four diamonds is not there. Well, sorry, five diamonds. And five diamonds is there if I rough low. So, that's life. And I mean, double was good. If partner passed. If partner just passed three spades doubled, that would be awesome. Because he probably gets two spade tricks, then we will have not entry, three club tricks, one diamond, it's three, six, probably eight tricks. So that would be 1100. And that's almost better than a slam. If 
Barton just passes with queen 10 9 and like singleton in diamonds and those cards I think he should have or let's say he could have tried so this board is probably the key one who will win this challenge and since I didn't guess it right and end up in the slam possibly if I lose only three imps on this one I might I might win yeah and well luckily this end up with a tie because Tom went to six downs as well and was facing exactly the same issue as what I was but uh, you if you want to have a look what actually happened there you might watch the Tom's video as well you might find the link below this video in the description and let's go and check the last board okay last board i'm vulnerable with 5332 pardon is a past hand not really worth but since all the boards were flat except of the previous one I'm feeling that I need a swing and like playing in two hearts doesn't look like a swing let's try if I get a rough well possibly partner might have the king Red or duck? I th okay, pardon, has the king there. And he should have one more honor. Maybe it might be a hard honor, since it is not the king of clubs. Maybe I could have unled my spade. Pardon drops the queen. Ah. Okay, that's not good. I'm leading the spade if pardon is having the jack of spades. That could have worked. Because then I could have got a club rough. Yeah, and partner really really had the jack of spades. So I could have scored one more trick and then maybe Declare will make a mistake and play play the diamonds wrongly. Yeah, that was a chance for two hearts making or maybe beating, beating two hearts by a trick. I think after winning, partner could have played the club. Could have had a singleton there, having the entry, maybe ducking a heart might work, but then I will not get the rough. If he plays the king of hearts, he doesn't have an entry. So playing the spade was really good as a passive play. So well done, Arjun. And well, let's see the scores. Yeah, and unfortunately, Tom managed to push and beat opponents in three hearts for plus 50. And me giving away over tricks actually cost that one extra m so at the end it's a tie so, yeah here we go so first challenge between me and tom is over more might come sooner or later we will see how it goes and guys if you know about some other streamers who will be willing and who you are watching just let them know that we might play another challenge against those so you can see the reasoning from two streamers at the same time because everybody has a different perspective on how to play the boards and you can learn from each person individually same as we uh, the professionals can learn from each other as well so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next videos take care